So, come up to the lab and see what's on the slab. I see you shiver with anticipation. Did you know there's a Rocky Horror Picture Show PC game? There sure is. The game I'll be covering is a newer one that was released in 1999, but there's also a version for older platforms from 1985. They're essentially the same game, except the newer version has updated graphics. The Rocky Horror Show was originally a stage production written by Richard O'Brien, and was later adapted into the movie which was called The Rocky Horror Picture Show. It follows the newly engaged, prudish couple Brad and Janet as they encounter a transvestite scientist eager to show off his newest creation, a muscled man for whom the show is named for, Rocky Horror. Seeing as though I like the movie so much, I figured I'd give the game a shot. Doesn't it look... uh... awesome? Just look at that bright yellow mustard color, and the ketchup red. It's like having a little piece of McDonald's right in your hand. I don't know about this. This doesn't look like Rocky Horror at all. And Whoa. What is going on here? Oh my boobs. Also, she is way too happy to be sexy. There's no happiness in sexy, just like there's no crying in baseball or something. No happiness, no sexy in baseball. Let's boot up the game, but before we do, I just want to tell you guys the box actually comes with a walkthrough for the entire game. They must have realized that nobody could beat this thing without a guide because it makes no sense. Ladies and gentlemen, I bid you welcome to the interactive Rocky Horror Show. Saruman! Oh, thank God you're here! Wait, why are you here? Where's the other guy from the movie? That guy was awesome and he had some sweet dance moves, but it's cool, I guess. I like me some Christopher Lee. You can play as either Brad or Janet. When I played, I chose Brad. You start outside the mansion, which you'll be entering shortly, and I gotta say, these sound effects are questionable. What the hell is the ground made out of? Sounds like someone's chomping on some fucking cornflakes over there. Gameplay is stupid. Here's a quick rundown. The goal. Find pieces of the D-Medusa machine to turn Janet back to life, who was turned into a statue in the beginning of the game. There she is, right there. Damn it, Janet, why you gotta be such a stiff? The pieces of the D Medusa machine are spread out everywhere with no indication of how to find them other than futzing with confusing inventory items and wandering around aimlessly. Every now and then, Richard O'Brien will troll you, ridiculing you for buying this disaster of a game. How very unfortunate. Let me put it this way. Have you ever wanted to be a janitor for the Rocky Horror Mansion? Well, now you can because you collect so many keys. <laughs> Half of your inventory consists of keys, and the other half consists of naughty things like condoms and... What the? Why is the dead person in the bathroom holding a butt plug? Oh right, so you can put it in the robot. Robot? What the fuck is this shit? Yeah, remember Robbie Horror, the Elvis robot that's activated by a butt plug? And what the hell is this other shit? This looks nothing like the Rocky Horror Mansion. I don't remember a huge ass stair shark or lawn flamingos or this bathroom or what the crap demon butt. I said what what in the butt. And I certainly don't remember a disco cafe, but the disco cafe is important because it's the only place where something even slightly amusing happens. You get to do the time warp. If you have no idea what you're doing, Christopher Lee will tell you in a semi-dramatic reading of the lyrics. It's just a jump to the left and then a step to the right with your hands on your hips. You bring your knees in tight, but it's the pelvic thrust that really drives you insane. Let's do the time warp again. Let's do the time warp again. All right, I know this song and dance like the back of my hand. How hard can it be to do during gameplay? You bring your knees in tight. You bring your knees in tight. Okay, well, that was wrong. Which keys do I press? But it's a pelvic. You bring your knees in. And then a step to the right. But it's a pelvic. Oh, with your. But it's a pelvic. Oh, with your hands on your hips. What is up with these controls? But it's a pelvic. But it's a pelvic. But it's a pelvic. But it's a pelvic. Okay, back to the actual gameplay mechanics. You need to find everything you need to find before the timer is up. If you feel like you're running out of time, you need to orgasm. Quick, orgasm for more time. Ugh, ugh, yeah, that feels better. This game is actually so shallow that I don't even know what else to say about it. It's not fun. It's a lot of nothing. The characters really don't look like Rocky Horror characters, and you don't talk to them. The most they do is take your clothes, which, well, that's just funny. Ha, <laughs> underwears. Sexy. 
At some point, your inventory will become massive, and you can only see one item at a time, so it's very easy to forget what's even in there. And the puzzles make such little sense, it's no wonder the game provides you with a walkthrough. At one point, I have to make Frankenfurter a purse made out of alligator skin that I find in the bathroom with the plans, and I find somewhere else in another janitor key, and there's a large portion where you're just controlling Robbie Horror with no idea what to do, and it's... Ugh, it's ugh. Why? Why not make a Rocky Horror game that allows you to talk to the characters? It's so frustrating and far from the source material, and even though Richard O'Brien was in charge of this game, it doesn't make it a good game. Not even Christopher Lee can make this a good game. Ugh, I'm so angry, I could just... I could just do this. <laughs> One of my favorite things about Rocky Horror is the music. I basically love every track, so it's a shame that this game butchered all of them. The music in this game was not leveled, so sometimes you'll be going through the game and a song will start playing at 90 decibels, which makes it even harder to focus on what you're supposed to be doing. There's only one slightly redeeming factor about this game, if you can call it a redeeming factor, and that's this jukebox right here. It has acoustic versions of some of the Rocky Horror songs sung by Richard O'Brien. It's kind of neat. Not sure why it's in the game, but it's neat. I'm just a sweet transvestite From transsexual Transylvania I really don't have much else to say about this game except for I'm disappointed in it. Apparently this game was made for fans, but I don't see how it would appeal to fans seeing as though it's impossible and doesn't resemble anything Rocky Horror at all. Save for some music, the names, and Richard O'Brien, of course. Some things just don't translate into a video game, and this is one of those things. And I don't even know how to end this review because this game has lowered my IQ due to having the enjoyment of a cabbage. If I could compare it to anything, it would be to digital flatulence. Yes. I compare this to farts. It happened, it stank, and all you can do is pray that it just goes away. This game is farts. Patient. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my video. If you want to do the time warp with me, then you should follow me on all of my social venues because that makes sense and totally isn't a shameless plug. A special thanks goes out to Nido King, Daniel Plaka, and Mahan because they're sexy. Super, super sexy. Yep. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.